Hi everyone, Tanya Hertz here. We're covering uh, some tips and tricks from years of teaching at, at both San Diego State and Miramar College. And I, we're focusing on our presentation skills, but not just presentation skills, but virtual presentation skills uh, even more so. So one of the things I want you to be aware of is cognitive overload. So cognitive overload is that cognitive is our brain, overload is too much. So don't put too much of a mental demand on your audience. Be aware that they, uh, they can only pay attention to so many things at once and they need something to see, to look at, if you want them to pay attention. So videos always on when you're presenting, they need to see your face, they need to hear your voice, um, but then they also need something else to look at. You can use PowerPoint. You can use Canva. is a, a, has great tools that you can use for creating videos. Google Slides, an excellent resource. Beyond. I don't know if any of you have ever seen these videos where it's essentially a cartoon and the characters are acting out different parts to the script. That that's there's a free service. It's called Beyond. I encourage all of you consider using it in your presentations. Um, any other content creator, just make sure that they have something to look at besides just you. And even when they do have these to look at, make sure you're there too. Um, and no matter what you do, avoid uh, long uh, written text like the plague. You do not want to give people a book to read. Uh, there's a lot of research on this. Uh, that uh, people cannot listen and read at the same time. So instead of putting a long script, use the titles, use subtitles, use bullets, use keywords or images and keep those keywords and images uh, clear and, and, and good quality and never ever include an entire spreadsheet. I don't care what the presentation is on. I don't care if you're asking in a pitch deck for uh, several million dollars from the Y Combinator uh, folks, nobody wants to see this. Nobody wants to see. Can you read that? Can you read all of this in, in the couple of uh, seconds that I'll be on the screen? Of course not, right? So instead, pull out what you need. Keep it simple. There's that kiss again. Keep it simple, smarty pants. All financial projections need to be pulled out, the ones that we want to focus on. They should be clear, concise, and the numbers should be as small as possible to convey the overall number you this is the same data that was on the previous slide it's just we're pulling out what we need to see and not including all of those uh, extra um, extra words in there and and another thing that you want to you want to do to ensure that you're not overloading the senses is um, make sure that you're not reading what's on the screen verbatim because there's brain science behind this. Um, reading and listening, they, they involve different parts of the brain. Uh, if you're speaking and um, I'm listening to you speak, I'm not listening to you speak at the same pace that I'm reading. And so it creates this sort of, uh, this sort of cognitive dissonance in my head when uh, I'm trying to, to keep up with what you're saying. So instead, summarize. Uh, use those visuals and choose them purposefully. So let's say you want to convey uh, a partnership. And uh, you, know, you can think of, okay, 1990s uh, clip art text, we will partnership, let's show some hands shaking, right? That, that conveys partnership, right? But there are other ways to convey the same meaning, which are more memorable and can help the idea stick in the uh, minds of your viewers. Salt and pepper, that's a pretty good partnership, right? Go together like maybe peas and carrots, or get rid of the clip art altogether and choose something really different, interesting, and cute. Mushrooms, why not choose mushrooms High-fiving one another, that's a partnership. Mushrooms are good buddies. That helps uh, the idea to stick, right? Another thing that you want to do uh, is avoid the, the impulse to fill up the entire screen with uh, words or pictures uh, at, or, or just use up all of the, the white space. It's not necessary. And really, if you're, if you're 
careful about uh, using that white space, it can actually uh, it can actually help the audience to focus on the concept that you want them to focus on. Uh, we, we, there's a lot of research on this. Uh, effectively using white space and using less words can uh, improve, again, comprehension. It also gives our eyes a little rest. It gives our brain a little rest so we're not overloading the senses. So oh, join me and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, tip four. How do we exude confidence and um, maintain energy. And I'll see you for video four here shortly.